years ago, this was like a prison. There was a fence, a barbed wire fence all the way around the, the reservation. There was a gate on that end, one on the north end and one going toward Pierre. He was hired to watch one of them, whichever one. And when the Native Americans leave to go visit, they have to write specific day that they are going to return. At what hour they had to write that down. So he learned to read and write in Lakota and English. Didn't go to school. And I always said, you got to be intelligent to pick up on the language and everything. So he went to um, he went to school like uh, um, he went to um, he had this job where he went every day. And I often wondered what he thought about about the work that he did. Because was he helping the government or was he helping the Indians, you know? Because they had to make sure they get back, otherwise they'd be considered a runaway and uh, on the loose and, you know? In today's world, they have guns. Do you know, if you look back in history, that what these guns were for? Would the pilgrims come over and all the immigrants that gun was to fight the Indians, kill the Indians off. And you look at that story of Pocahontas, that guy, he's, he's that, it shows that, you know, that these guns were to fight the Indians. We never had gun control before, you, before the... <laughs> <laughs> and it, there wasn't a way to you can always duck out of an arrow, away from an arrow, you know. It, it kind of makes me laugh because when they talk about Sandy Hook and the president was crying over Sandy Hook, why don't they cry over wounded knee? We felt that pain first, where they killed everybody. And they weren't even fighting, you know. They don't think about things like that. <laughs>